watch. Well, first ASU, then U of A, now GCU. It's finally move in day for students at Grand Canyon University. Of course, like everything else in 2020, things will be different because of COVID-19. Team 12's Matt Uris joins us from campus with the safety measures that are in place. Hey, Matt. Good morning, Emma, and you're right. Everything is and is, uh, is going to be different. According to the university president, student volunteers are going to have to take more responsibility when it comes to moving themselves. This is just one of the steps taken to make sure everyone stays safe, not just today, but in the weeks to come. Other steps include wearing masks, of course, social distancing, and keeping what the university calls a closed campus. This means guests have to pass by a guard to enter. This helps limit the number of outsiders and hopefully the spread of COVID-19. So far, the university president says things are off to a pretty good start. Take a listen. We actually have 2,500 students on campus now of the 23,000 that we will have. Um, nursing students had to start right away because of some clinical placement things and, and uh, student leaders are there, some athletes are there. Um, and we're real proud of what they're doing. Um, we, we have had very few positive cases. Um, and people are wearing masks and they're maintaining distance. And so we're off to, we think, a pretty good start. Another advantage Grand Canyon has and when it comes to sp preventing the spread of COVID-19 is it's a dry campus. So in theory, its students should have less interactions with bars. In Phoenix, Matt Yuris, Today in AZ. All right, Matt, thank you. Well, GCU students aren't the only ones returning to campus today. Students in Peoria and Scottsdale School Districts are also heading back to the classroom. Today is the first day of a week's long phase in process. Peoria and Scottsdale schools are bringing kindergarten through second grade students back today. The rest will be phased back into classes coming over the following weeks. In Gilbert, all grades are going to be back to in-person learning today. For a full breakdown of the district's safety plans, just head on over to 12news.com.